Ooh, Aquarius people, what is going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii, coming at you to give you your special New Year love reading. Let's straighten that camera, please. Come on, stay straight. I hate when my little thing looks crooked in the back. <laughs> It'll do for now. <laughs> I can't tell if it's straight or not, but it'll do for now. Anyway, hello to my Aquarius people. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? It's your girl, Miss Hawaii. I'm coming at you to do your New Year love reading, okay? So let's get started. Can't, wouldn't be me if I didn't have my blunt. Let's see what we got going on for my Aquarius people. What's going on in your lives? I'm going to be using the ethereal, ethereal vision. Oh, tarot card. That was the four of pentacles and seven of cups just popped out. Four of pentacles. Just holding on to the past. Seven of cups trying to make a decision, having options. Let's see what's going on. But my Aquarius people, I got my manifesting a miracle candle burning and I've got some sage burning. What do we have for my Aquarius people, please? All right, let's see what's going on with my Aquarius people, all right? How's Aquarius feeling right now in love? Show me, please, how Aquarius is currently feeling in love. How is Aquarius currently feeling in their love life? How are my Aquarius people currently feeling right now? The Nine of Cups in reverse. You're not happy. Not getting your wish fulfilled. Not feeling content right now with your love life. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Um, But that's clearly what that means. That's like the Nine of Cups upright is a wish fulfillment. So it being in reverse is like you're not getting what you wished for. You're not getting what you wanted. Um could also mean unrealistic expectations, could mean greed, could mean materialism, okay? Could mean boastfulness, all right? Let's see what else we got. Please show me what else is going on, please. Please show me what else is going on for my Aquarius people. How are Aquarius people feeling right now in their love life? How is Aquarius currently feeling right now in their love life? How's Aquarius currently feeling right now in love? Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles in reverse, two of Cups in reverse. So you're single. You're making your money with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you're looking good. You're not happy being single, though. You don't want to be single. Nine of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Two of Cups in reverse. There's a separation here. Could be with a... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Separation here. Two of Cups in reverse. Division, separation. Somebody that you had a deep connection with. Eight of Swords in reverse. That's you coming out of from feeling trapped. That's also Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy as well. That's you not feeling trapped anymore. Coming out of that trapped place where you were at. Two of Cups in reverse. That's imbalance, disconnection, unworthiness, or struggle. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's materialism, setbacks, loss, or overindulgence. Okay. All right. And the Eight of Swords in reverse, right here. This is going to be release, acceptance, accountability, and discovery. All right. Show me how else Gemini, I'm sorry, Aquarius is feeling. I'm sorry. Okay. The Star card in reverse. Oh my God. You got everything in reverse. And the Nine of Swords in reverse. So more Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Star card is your energy, the Aquarius card. Um, 
right now with the star card being in reverse, that's you not feeling aligned with the universe, not feeling like what you got it, like you're getting what you wanted. Um, feeling like maybe a wish was not granted. Again, with the nine of cups, a wish that's not being fulfilled with the star card in reverse. Uh, feeling like giving up on love, feeling like, you know, um, maybe confusion in love, lack of faith, or you feel like your, your faith is being tested. You could be feeling negativity in your love life right now. Okay, this is confusion. This is despair. All right. Nine of swords in reverse. This is coming from being hurt. This is coming from feeling like you were betrayed. Feeling like somebody did you dirty. This is um, perception. This is revelation. This is you recovering. All right. Let's see how the person you're thinking about is feeling, Aquarius. All right. How is the person that Aquarius is thinking about? Um, how are they feeling? The love interest of Aquarius. Please show us how they're currently feeling. This person that Aquarius is thinking about. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. All right? Or any fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Wands. That's the person. That's the life of the party. This person is somebody that a lot of people want. This is somebody that's in the public eye. This is somebody that does want to be in a relationship, um, but they hard to tie down. Okay? This person can have a cat. Um, But this person is very into... You know, their social setting, um, they're all about, you know, when they walk in a room, everybody wants them. They're, ten you know, they're like an attention person. A lot of people want this person I'm picking up. Um, this person does want you to, I mean, they're coming up strong. Um, they go after what they want, the cleaner wands. They're very, they're very um, passionate about what they want and they go after what they want. But they usually are the one that everybody wants to be or wants to be with. All right, so that person that you're that you're uh, thinking of, show me what else is going on with this person, please. The sun in reverse. This person is not happy. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with. Okay, this is more. Uh, this is Leo energy with the sun in reverse. That's not being optimistic about the relationship. That's them being unhappy right now, not feeling like um, anything is going well right now between you two. Okay. Um, can mean a lot of different things. Let me see here. Yeah, this person though, this person definitely has love in your in their heart for you. Um, I just see a lot of people around this person right now. A lot of people are trying to get this person, but I feel like they're really focused on you. Like they're thinking about you, um, and they're upset about you. This sun, this sun is negative. Sun is about you. Okay, but the Queen of Wands is creativity, growth, intuition, and passion. Just like I said. Okay, that's what that's all about. And then the sun card in reverse is going to be selfishness, egotistical, sadness, or depression. So this person could actually be pretty sad about this separation between you guys. This two of cups in reverse. Show me how else this person is feeling as dealing with Aquarius, please. Show me how else this person is dealing as, is feeling as dealing with Aquarius, please. How is this person feeling as dealing with the Aquarius? How is this person feeling that's dealing with Aquarius, please? Who is this person that's dealing with Aquarius, please? Show us how they're feeling. Hey, this body shape. A. Hey. Six of Wands. Nothing else came out, right? So Six of Wands. Okay. This person wants a victory with you. This person could be in the public eye. Okay. Maybe has some type of fame, success, social status. Six of Wands. Pride. That's also more fire energy. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me what else this person is feeling. That's dealing with Aquarius, please. Show me what else this person is feeling. That's dealing with Aquarius, please. This person could also have pride. You know what I mean? There's a king of pentacles that just popped out. So you're either dealing with somebody else. A, a Taurus. Could be a Taurus or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're dealing with somebody else. Or it could be this person and it could be somebody that has a lot of money, maybe trying to control you with their money. Somebody that has a hard time displaying their emotions, telling you how they feel. Could be that. Um, because the King of Pentacles likes to spoil you. They like to they they're more of somebody that does more of actions to show their love as opposed to communicating with you. Okay, so this could be two different people that you're dealing with. Death card. Okay, so this is endings and new beginnings. So this is this person ending something. This is also Scorpio energy. 
ending something, beginning something new. The death card is all about transition. Transition, transformation. Well, how else is this person feeling about Aquarius? How else is this person feeling about Aquarius, please? How else is this person feeling, please, about Aquarius? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be the same Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, Knight of Pentacles is going to be Virgo, okay? Um, this could be the same person. I feel like you're talking, I think this is two, I feel like this is two different people though, Aquarius, that you're dealing with. I, I'm seeing fire and I'm seeing pentacles, I'm seeing earth, okay? I don't think this is the same person. So I feel like you maybe are ending something or this person, something has ended with this fire sign. And maybe you are starting new with this, this pinnacle. This person is moving very slowly. Okay? This person is moving very slowly, but they are coming in. All right? With something stable, something secure. If that's the case, if you're dealing with two different people, that's what I see here. Okay, I see the fire sign being very unhappy, wanting victory with you, and then I see the king, you know, and that being ended, wanting a new beginning, and this king of pentacles coming in slowly as knight of pentacles, trying with you, okay? You being unhappy right now, discontent with your love life, you might not even know, you might not have even seen this knight of pentacles yet. Being discontent with your love life, not wanting to be single, Coming out of feeling trapped, this disconnection that you have with this person that you're still thinking about, nine of swords in reverse, coming out from feeling betrayed, not believing in your love life, okay? Then you got the knight of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So that's more fire energy. That's that person, the fire sign, coming in a little bit rash, two of wands, been watching you, trying to decide, and wants to come together. Judgment in reverse, though, okay? With the three of cups in reverse, this person could have something with a third party with this person that's why you ended things justice could be dealing with a libra that's it right there okay judgment in reverse i don't think you want to reconcile with this person i don't think you want to reconcile with this person judgment in reverse that's all about blockage rejection stagnation self-doubt okay so that's the whole thing hmm and then the justice card in reverse, that's all about a dispute, dishonesty, lack of accountability, and corruption. So this person did some, some wicked shit to you. They did some wicked shit to you. So that's why you are doing your own thing, staying away. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not with it right now. <laughs> I'm healing. I'm getting over this. I'm doing my thing. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I'm not happy right now being single, but I'm not going to be with you. You know, because the three cups in reverse, that's a disconnection. That's unfaithfulness. This person was unfaithful to you. And I think this king of pentacles is somebody new. Let's clarify these cards. Let's see, show me this nine of cups, please, in reverse, please, for Aquarius. This nine of cups in reverse for Aquarius, please. Show me this nine of cups in reverse, please, for Aquarius. Show me this nine of cups, please, in reverse. The knight of wands. Yeah, so it's that person that made you unhappy. That wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Knight of Wands, that's Sagittarius energy. That person, you're not happy with them. They didn't make you happy. They're not your wish fulfillment. They, you're discontent. Show me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Show me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Same fire energy on the other side. Show me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please. Mm -hmm. 
Are you willing to try? Show me the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, please. Baby, I love you. Can't be without you. Let's see. Something flipped over. Here we go. The High Priestess in reverse. Hmm. So that's all about secrets. That's all about mistrust. You single right now because you don't trust nobody. What's going on? What happened to your past? Cut off your intuition. You know what I mean? But you need to use your intuition, Spirit is saying. You should never cut that off. But that's definitely mistrust and secrets. That's why you're single right now. Show me the two of cups in reverse. Show me the two of cups in reverse, please. Two of cups in reverse, please. The judgment card in reverse and the world card in reverse. Mm. You over it, Aquarius. You over it. You're over it. Over it. Over this connection with that fire sign. Judgment in reverse again. You got that twice. That's somebody that wasn't, they not they weren't faithful. They did something dirty to you. The world card in reverse left you feeling incomplete. What they did to you. It wasn't right. Had you walking away, you know what I mean? Feeling some type of way. That's it. Judgment in reverse is fearful, is guilty feelings, worry and delay. That's how that person had you feeling. That's how you felt when you disconnected, okay? From this connection. The world in reverse is frustration, incomplete projects, and failed endeavors. See, this person as a, you know, what happened with this person has failed. It's over. Show me the Eight of Swords in reverse. Wow. You got the Queen of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the King of Wands. So nobody is talking right now. What the fuck? All the court cards in reverse. Queen of Swords. Okay. King of Swords is Aquarius. Absolutely. In reverse, not talking. Queen of Swords in reverse, not talking. Again, not communicating, being cold, being distant. The King of Wands in reverse, this is that fire sign. Being the same way towards you. Being rude, being distant, being cold. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Mm. That's interesting. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Queen of Swords in reverse. No communication, both being cold. But you feel like that, that's what helped you clear your mind, not talking to them. That's what helped you clear your mind. Show me the star card, please, in reverse. That's what helped you feel free. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So here comes this person showing up on your side now. So you're not having faith in this Knight of Pentacles. You're not believing in this situation with this person. You feel like maybe it's moving too slow. You don't feel like you can maybe trust this person. That's why you got the Knight of Pentacles coming up in reverse. You might feel like, you know what, mm -mm, no. Because that means the, maybe the person came off a little irresponsible to you. Person's coming off with a lack of motive, motivation or they may be inconsistent. Show me the Nine of Swords, please. The Hermit in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you healed. You came out from the Nine of Swords to Nine of Swords in reverse. You healed throughout all this from feeling betrayed and everything like that. Now you are the Hermit in reverse. Okay, now the hermit in reverse can mean a lot of things. It can mean that you're focusing too much on one specific thing. It could mean that now you're ready to be social. It could mean sharing information. It could mean becoming one with the community. Okay, and this specific deck. So maybe since you came out now, now you out of that nine of swords in reverse energy, you heal, you're healing, you're done with the betrayal and not being able to sleep in the nightmares and the pain. Now you're ready to return to social status. With the Hermit in Reverse. All right. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands. Show 
Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Show me this Queen of Wands. Show me this energy right here. Ten of Cups. Oh, this person loves you. Damn, Aquarius. They see you as a Ten of Cups. Damn. Ten of Cups, that's happy home. That's love. That's partnerships. Divine. This person loves you. Show me the Sun card in reverse. Show me the Sun card in reverse. Show me the Sun card in reverse. Right now, your energy is just you focusing on you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This person is unhappy because nothing is happening with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There's no movement. It's stagnant. They don't, they don't like that. Show me the Six of Wands. Show me the Six of Wands. That's Pentacle um, energy. That's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Show me the Six of Wands, please. Show me the Six of Wands, please. Ooh, okay, let's see what we got. The Ten of Wands in reverse. On top of the Six of Wands. Hmm. So that to me is like... <sighs> this person wants to let this burden go. I feel like this shows me that this person maybe on the outside acts like everything is okay and is walking around with pride, like prideful, you know what I mean, to the public, you know, to the public, to the people around them that they work with, their family, whoever, friends. But in reality, they're not happy inside. They're not happy inside. They feel like they just have to pretend to be that way. They're not happy about this situation with you, not speaking with you and all of that. I don't care what they say, okay? Ten of Wands reverse is loss, unable to maintain stability and treacherous actions. So this person did some dirty shit to you and they're trying to act like they're okay with it and they're not. Show me the King of Pentacles, please. Show me the King of Pentacles, please. Show me the King of Pentacles. This is the Four of Pentacles in reverse. They're unable to let you go. They're unable to let you go. It's hard for them right now. They could be, um, yeah, they're unable to let you go right now. They're unable to let you go. This is the Pentacles person. This is the King of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is material delays, hardships, and business affairs. Okay. Show me the death card. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Show me this. Ooh. Damn, how many popped out? Damn, I don't know which was which now. Hmm, let's do that over. It was too many, I think, that popped out. That was a surge right there. Let me reshuffle. And then we could end this video long enough. All right, show me this death card, please. Why is this death card here? For the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Show me this death card, please. For the person Aquarius is dealing with this death card. Oh, there it was. The, the Four of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So after ending, after transformation, after ending, this person needed to heal. They needed to come out of healing now. Okay. They, they, in a way, felt betrayed too by you, which is weird. Um, but in a way, they felt betrayal as well by you. So they had to heal. They had to heal. They had to take time as well um, and be to themselves. That's what I'm getting from this four of swords in reverse. They needed time as well. They felt betrayed as well. I know that's crazy to you because to me, they're the ones that did the treacherous actions to you. So I don't understand why they needed time to heal. Okay. But the Four of Swords is all about renewed vigor, a return to daily life and events and activity after everything ended between you guys. Show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. It's interesting. You got the Knight of Pentacles, but you're seeing the Knight of Pentacles lazy and, not, and, and inconsistent, and they're seeing themselves as made to move. Page of Swords in reverse, though. Hmm. Something sneaky about this person. This Knight of Pentacles. You might be right about your feeling about them. Aquarius, 
you might be right in your feelings about them. Because this is showing them as... Hmm. A little irresponsible, I'm getting too. The same way that you were feeling. The same way that they came up on your side. Irresponsible. Page of Swords in Reverse is deceit. A liar. False friend. I don't know about this King of... I don't know about this Knight of Pentacles. Okay? You got a Knight. You got a King. You got a Knight of Pentacles. You got a King of Pentacles. And you got that King of Wands. You got a lot going on. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing three people, okay? If this is only for certain people, this is not for everybody, every single Aquarius. You're talking to three people. You're talking to a king of wands, somebody that's in love with you, that wants you back, that you don't want, that doesn't make you happy. Then you got a king of pentacles who really wants to try to make something work with you that's got a lot of money and stability, business or whatever. They seem like they got some financial shit going on right now, okay? And then you got a Knight of Pentacles, who is somebody a little bit, maybe a little bit younger than you, okay? Possibly a Virgo, okay? That is coming up as a liar, somebody that you cannot trust. And you got them in reverse too on your side under the star, which means you don't have faith in them to, in the, in to begin with. So you're very smart. Trust your intuition. You got the high priests in reverse. That's because you're not trusting your intuition. Trust your intuition. Right now, you focusing on doing you. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm -mm. Keep doing that. Don't focus on this person. Stay balanced. Okay? Stay balanced. You're going to have a new beginning coming. This Knight of Pentacles, I like the Knight. I mean, not the Knight. The King of Pentacles. Show me the King of Pentacles. I like them for you. Um, They just got a lot. It seems like they're busy. They have a whole business shit going on. They're about their bread. But there's somebody who wants to... um. That wants something stable, though. Look, might be a little bit older than you or somebody that's mature, a grounded man. Could be a father. You know what I mean? Um, let me see. Show me this King of Pentacles. Show me this King of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Okay, yeah, this person is planning on you. This person wants progress. I like this King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, Earth sign. That could be a Taurus that you're talking to. If not Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or some that could be in your chart. That person who's a businessman, got their money together. That person is what's up. But this Knight of Pentacles and that King of Wands, you're over it. Okay? Because the King of Wands was just some treacherous shit to you. All right, Aquarius? So I hope this helped you guys. If it resonated, don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know, please, um, if, it, if this is your situation. Um, if not, the Knight and the King can be two, be two different people. But you're definitely talking to more than one person. This is definitely not one person. All right, Aquarius? So don't forget, leave me a comment. Let me know. I uh, love you guys very much. Don't forget, like the video. Subscribe. Happy New Year. See you soon. Toodles.